G'day viewers, welcome to Old Fat Bastard Cycling World or something. But anyway, I want to talk today about room for improvement and motivation. Um, I was watching back a couple of my earlier vlogs and there was a couple of things like the focus was hunting, was going forward and back, was focusing on the back wall or somewhere else and whatever and not on me. And I just thought, well, look, when it comes to photography, you should try and get it as good as you can. It flies. <coughs> anyway, so I thought um, for the ones where I'm, when you're holding the camera and you're walking around and stuff, autofocus is probably good. You know, sometimes it'll miss. I mean, this camera uses a contrast AF. Um, it's not brilliant. It's okay, but it's not brilliant. So I thought, why not use manual focus? So I put it on manual focus today. So hopefully I'm in focus. It's pretty hard to set it up. I've done a bit of documentary filmmaking and, and uh, fiction stuff as well and you generally got someone behind the camera so you can check focus and aperture and all those sort of things and it makes it easy to know if it's out. The thing with vlogging is you just set it up, do your thing in one take and that's it. When you watch it back and the focus isn't right you think well fuck you know I'll just you know I'm not going to do it again. It's not how it works you know you just you got to get it in one take and then the moment's gone so Anyway, I've got all this camera gear. I've got bloody heaps of bloody lenses and shit, and I just I've been watching a few other people on YouTube, and I just figure that you might as well try and you know I've got all these lenses and stuff in a bag full of bloody good gear. So I'm going to start doing that. You know, I'll do other shots where I can actually look through the lens and get some nice depth of field and do some you know more creative sort of stuff which is more high quality i did one video of um, underemployment where i talked about a um, stringy park tree and i used three different lenses for that and it actually, the results look much better than just whacking things on auto and just hoping for the best so there's always room for improvement i'm only starting out with this vlogging business but i reckon a few simple things make it better i've seen you know like um people i admire and give me motivation like um cycling maven he does some really great stuff but even some of his stuff goes in and out of focus but when you're walking around with your camera you know that's bound to happen so you can understand that but when you sit it down on a table you might as well just go manual focus and get it right you know so that, that's one little thing you want to try and improve there's always room for improvement even you know cycling or whatever you know like we get it even though i'm an old fat bastard and um you know with hair and all this sort of shit you know um, a wide angle lens would be good because I could be further away because I'm not that pretty but I've got all this gear so I might as well use that I mean Cycling Maven's great his, his stuff's getting better and better and better his, um, you know the quality of the production is really really good um, and he's a fun sort of guy to be around so that's, that's interesting the other people I really admire I've been watching Kai W um, for years he does product reviews on cameras and tech stuff I like that sort of shit but um he's he's quite good he he's got a mate who helps him lock who does a lot of the camera work but he also does some of his own vlogging but he's such a good photographer so kai w he's he's really good to look at and some of the new young ones on the, the youtube which are doing some incredibly beautiful stuff you know so the more effort you put into it the better you know as far as um there's plenty of room for improvement so um yeah um i mean kai w i love him he's, he's fantastic this Tommy Blake who talks about stuff and he, he did a video once about a, a lens that no one would want to buy and, and they probably wouldn't even watch the video so anyway I went out and bought it straight away it's an absolutely beautiful piece of glass it's great for stills photography 15mm Lumix you know gorgeous thing beautiful lens um, I might whack it on now 15mm Leica lens um, really nice but I don't know whether I can see the difference I haven't looked at the footage yet but um, I'm going to start using these variety of different lenses. I mean, I've got some beauties here. This, this is one of my favourites. It's a uh, 35 to 100. Absolutely, it's got an internal zoom, so it doesn't poke out the front when you do it, and it's just images are absolutely gorgeous through that. So, I'm going to start trying to make these videos look better by using manual focus for these sort of set shots, um, and just trying to spend a bit of time making it look better. So, there's always room for improvement. Um, some of the other things that are good for motivation and it's not easy when you're an old fat bastard you know you get up in the morning you think oh jesus you know everything hurts and it's going to be tough but i'm, I'm going to go for a ride in a minute i'm going to push myself through that and um it, i'll be better for it 
but um, as far as motivation goes, like you can be motivated from these young people, like these young YouTubers I really like. Um, there's Kai W, because we can't pronounce Wong, as I've mentioned before. Um, there's Sarah D. Um, there's um, Craig A. Um, it's Casey N. You know, I might call myself Brett C. You know, it could be fun. But um, yeah, there's always room for improvement, and the motivation comes from sort of checking out people who are good at shit. You know, so um, I get inspiration from the pro cyclists, even. You know, like some of these young guys coming up through, the like Yates brothers and the um, a couple of the young Australian kiddies, um, Roman Bardet, all those guys. I mean, they're, they're top pros and everything, but they really inspire us oldies to just keep getting back out on the bike. It's fantastic. So there you go. Just got back from a ride and I was talking about room for improvement, doing better photography for these vlogs and um, even doing some arty shit. So um, make them look better. So uh, here's some arty shit. So my new thing is trying to make it just a little bit art, more arty, a bit artier, more arty, art. Anyway, so um, yeah, hopefully it'll be better quality. And tomorrow I'm going to do a review on my Kenyan bike, so bike first bike review, the old fat bastard. So um, yeah, there you go.